Oh wow, you can do a track mode and drag strip mode. <laughs> there you go. Oh wow, you can go track mode and hand drag strip mode. <laughs> there you go. Preparing for launch. That's interesting. So you can do drag strip mode and track mode together. I'll have to show you this. That's faster. On this car, I was getting 2.5, 2.6. I felt like I had a slower plaid for some reason. I saw some other people out there who posted up that in track mode doing the launch, it wasn't this fast. I don't know. I just proved it. All right, we're rolling. GoPro's now inside. I'm just going to show you. So we're Track mode, yes, I got it. Customize, rear bias, that's it. So let's go see what the zero to 60 time does in the rear bias and the standard track mode, shall we? Should we start with normal race preset first? Let's do that, keep it consistent. All right, normal preset. Update when you put the turn signal on the side camera shows up that you're turning towards, which is cool. Obviously, when you're in this view, it doesn't do anything because Quarter the cameras mile. the cameras are already there. So we're gonna try gonna try doing a launch in track mode. You can go track mode and drag strip mode simultaneously. So that's what we're gonna do: drag strip mode. Okay, for peak performance ready, slides over, prepare to launch, lowers the front, and go. Of a 
second faster. 30. Felt faster. I felt a slip a little bit in the rear end. Straight. Half mile. Straight drag strip mode. Automatically it pops over it in red. Drag strip mode. Peak performance ready. You see that? Let's do 0 to 60 real quick. So from a 0 to 60, I think we have definitively shown, because I did it a bunch of times previously, that I get closer to 2.4, I think I got 2.3s as well. So the conclusion is track mode with the race setting or the rear bias didn't make much of a difference with drag strip mode in combination is a faster 0 to 60 launch in this particular car in my plaid i know they're all maybe a little bit different who knows and when i put drag strip mode on my back to my slower 0 to 60 2.58 seconds almost 2.6 seconds so i mean just for fun watch should we go back to track mode try it again quick little 0 to 60 let's do it that it makes you go to park when you want to do this. Track mode, go race preset, and there we are. Okay, do it one more time. All right, it's lowering. It's just a zero to 60, and... track mode setting race preset and go that definitely, it definitely slows down after 60 compared to the normal the normal uh, drag strip mode you can tell it definitely slows down let's compare it right here and just go drag strip only Come on. Come on. Hmm, it's not lowering. A little glitch in the matrix. Let's try it anyway. Maybe this is a glitch. Putting it into drag strip mode out of track mode. State of charge, 42 degrees. 
I don't know. Maybe there isn't any rhyme or reason to it. And let's see which one am I in again? Race preset, rear bias. Let's try the rear bias one one last time before we call it significant or not. I know someone else tried this just to see if they can just peel out, but let's see if I can just peel out here, shall we? And drag strip mode. Shift in and drive, it'll be helpful. So there's water on the road. I just want to see if it'll spin the tires real quick and all that off. See if it does. Yeah, let's see. One, two, three, and... funny with a hundred percent of the power going to the rear it feels pretty close to what it feels like when it's um, you know in plaid mode or 50 50 mode at least I'm assuming normally this is 50 50 mode it feels pretty similar I mean if I gun it right now it has that little laggy feeling that track mode has off the line but it pulls you back pretty hard for just being rear, for not having anything in the front. If I get out of drift preset, go to race preset. Doesn't really feel all that discernible with how you punch it. So anyway, just some feedback there. You know, being that there's two motors in the back and one motor in the front, and when the front motor you would assume is completely out of the picture when you have it in drift mode, you don't feel a noticeable difference, at least from a, you know, 38 mile an hour roll and then punching it and going up to 60. So for, for whatever that's worth, another little feedback. Well, in summary, the feedback is we tried a lot of different scenarios. You'll see them. Obviously, you're at the end of the video. You saw them. And the really coolest part about the track mode is that when you come out of a turn and the car starts to detect that there's a stability loss, it doesn't cut power like it does in just standard plaid mode pre-track mode release. So that's really cool. I like that part. That's the most fun part. Played around with different settings. Can't really tell you definitively if it makes sense to have it in track mode and drag race mode to get a better zero to 60 time a couple times in a row i thought it was doing that but then it didn't do that so don't know the cool thing about i guess drag strip mode and track mode is you can play around and make the wheels spin a little more if you want to do that i don't know how, how that would help you but it might look a little cooler if you're doing if you're doing you know a big burnout right so hopefully this video was helpful for you gave you a good little feedback experience of the first release of track mode on a 2021 Model S Plaid. And I'm looking forward to whatever enhancements and updates will continue, but I am thrilled that they released track mode. So thank you for doing that, everyone at Tesla. I've been waiting, perfect timing. And if you haven't already, subscribe, like this video, comment below. We'll see you on the next one.